Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your reading. We're going to do the person in your thoughts. Uh, so we'll see what the energy is here. Okay, so right now I'm going to pull some uh, mutual energy between you and this person. We're going to see what the energy is. If you hear some noises, uh, my puppy is in the background, so she may uh, make some noise. All right. Let's see what the energy is here for you, Virgo. What does Virgo need to know about the person in their thoughts? Okay. Let's see what the energy is here. All right. Now, the first thing that I'm picking up, this is somebody who has been pretty vague with you, okay? Now, it could be you haven't heard from this person. Maybe this person doesn't give you clarity around, um, you know, where things are at between the two of you, um, you know, kind of keeps things kind of uh, unpredictable. We do have unexpected here, and we also have here third party, okay? What's interesting here, now some of you, okay, this, this unexpected can be something shocking, okay? Some of you could find out about a third party situation or maybe you already found out about a third party situation, but I'm definitely getting here competition, okay? Now, the unexpected and competition, that could be an indication that maybe the competition's going to be on your side. We're going to see. All right, so let's uh, pull some tarot. I'm going to pull your energy, your person's energy, and then we'll get the mutual energy. But let's pull your energy, uh, Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. What does Virgo need to know? What's in Virgo's energy? Okay, we got the four of wands. Got strength card. We got Leo energy. Got the five of pentacles. Okay, and we got the Four of Pentacles. All right, bottom of the deck here, we do have the Knight of Wands. All right, it does feel like you're dealing with someone where things have not been consistent. Looking at this uh, third party situation, I feel like, yeah, and there's my third party card. You could be dealing with somebody here that there is some sort of third party situation going on here. I do feel with the strength card, we got Leo energy and we got the four of wands. I feel like this is somebody who has held back from making some sort of commitment. Now, if you were in a commitment with this person, it can be an indication that there is some sort of forgiveness. Okay, some of you could have found out about a third party situation while you were in a relationship with this person. Now, you do have the Five of Pentacles and you also have the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like you have definitely pulled back your energy. I feel like you um, have possibly given this person the cold shoulder. Okay, we're gonna clarify some of the energies. I'm going to go to your person's energy now. We're going to see why they've been vague, and then we're going to see more about this third-party energy. Okay, and your person's energy, interesting. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. We have Justice. Hmm. And we have the Wheel. And bottom of the deck here, we do have a King of Cups. Okay, yeah, this is somebody, look at this. They have avoided, they have avoided their feelings for you. You got the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. I feel like, too, this is someone who has not been honest with you. I feel like they haven't been honest about how they feel about the situation. I do feel like this is someone who has kept their options open. Like I said, a third-party situation going on here. I feel like things may have ended, okay, between you and this person. Could even be an indication that a third-party situation ended. 
So if that is your situation, that could be here what is unexpected. This is also my like unexpected message. So it can be an indication you're going to get a message from this person. We'll see in the mutual energy and when we clarify. But what's interesting here, you're going to, I feel like you got justice and you have the wheel of fortune. So something's changing here. Something's changing. It could even be, you could find out that this person is getting a divorce for some of you or legal separation. Some of you, I feel like too, what could be changing is that this person could be making something right here with you. But let's see what the mutual energy is. Thank you, Spirit. What's the mutual energy here between, and I'm going to move this back a bit, between Virgo and this person. Okay, we got the Empress, Seven of Cups, got the Magician, got the Page of Cups, the King of Cups was popping out there, got to, had to pull it out, and we also have here the Fool card. Yeah, look at those, Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, and you also have your energy here, Virgo. Now, what's interesting, Virgo, I do feel like there is potential for growth um, or a new beginning here. I do see a page of cups. I'm going to say for some of you, Virgo, this could even indicate new love coming in for you, but we'll see. It could be this person getting a message. Like I said, that could be the unexpected here. You do have the Seven of Cups and you also have here the King of Cups, okay? So the King of Cups we saw earlier and I feel like this King of Cups here is somebody who has had options. But it's also somebody in their emotions. That's what I'm feeling there. And then you have the Magician and the Fool card, okay? So there's some sort of new beginning. Okay, there, I feel like you could be manifesting some sort of new beginning here between you and this person. However, I do feel like this could be an on and off situation and you're going to have to weigh your options about, about this. So with that, let's clarify. Let's start with this Five of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles. Okay, we got an Emperor. Yeah, and a five of cups. Someone who saw you saw as your counterpart could be an Aries, could also be um, a Cancer, a Scorpio, Pisces. I do feel Virgo that there this person disappointed you. This person disappointed you because I feel like they did not give to the connection, and I feel like you felt like you had no control over the situation. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. You were hurt from the situation, and I see that you've pulled back. Okay. I see also with the Six of Swords, some of you were trying to move on from this connection, but I feel like you want things to change, okay? You want the distance to change between you and this person, whether it's long distance or energetic distance is what I'm, sen I'm sensing. Three of Swords, you may be feeling betrayed. Some of you may know about a third party situation. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles. Got the Dragonfly. Okay, this can be an energy that you found out something, okay? Something came to light, maybe you had an epiphany, but it also can be you found out about a third-party situation. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you got the Phoenix here, okay? This is transformation. I feel like you have grown a lot through this connection is what that is showing me, but I still, I feel like you still feel the passion and you still feel the chemistry for this person. So let's see uh, why is between the lines. Okay. So that's that energy. This person was vague with you. Four of cups. Yeah. This person had other options really plain and simple there. They had other options. Um, tell me more about this vague energy. Hmm. Healing. It's quite possible that this person is, you know, 
is non-committal or their behavior is stemming from past heartbreak that they've had in the past. Let's get another one. Yeah, they want to be chased. This is somebody who wants to be chased. Maybe they want to be validated. Maybe um, they uh, have codependent issues. But this is somebody who likes to be chased. And it's somebody who doesn't want to put in the work, okay? Um, you know, that chaser energy. Now, it can be because this person is, like I said, there could be some behavior here. Maybe they didn't know, right, well, how they treat relationships is the wrong way of doing things. But that's because this person needed some healing. Tell me more about this unexpected. Tell me more about this unexpected. Okay, so we got the world. Let's get one more there. And the Four of Wands. Interesting. Tell me more about this unexpected. Some of you, I feel here, okay, you may have found out. You may have found out something here or you're going to find out something here, okay, because there's a watching, a stalking. I don't know, maybe you're checking out their social media. But I feel like something ended here between you and this person, okay? Very interesting. Now, it could be some of you find out that the, that a situation ended with a third party. Let's go to the third party because something's changing here. Either you find out that this person's in a third party or you find out that there's competition or the end of a third party situation. Okay. I see here unconditional loving, uh, unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection. Maybe you're seeing somebody, maybe you saw somebody, this person flirting with somebody else. Okay, tell me more about this third party. Yeah, we got the snake here. Okay, some of you found out or you're gonna find out that there is a third party situation because we also have here cassette, okay? over and something playing over and over now it could be this person too we got to get to your person's energy but tell me more about this third party energy this seems very complicated virgo okay wheel of fortune something's changing there with the third party king of cups and the six of wands i'm really getting here that that if there was a third party situation and that's what you may find out which changes okay so a relationship changed here i really feel like this person was with a third party and i feel like that you're going to find out maybe that this person things have ended there okay um let's go to because i see an ending here with the ten of swords so if this person was in another relationship or marriage, I see a divorce or an ending here. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. And then we'll go down to this Page of Cups because I feel like, and look, you got the wheel here too. Something ended with your person. I'm just going to say for some of you, it could be they went through a really nasty divorce or something like that. And that's why this person has this behavior. Okay, they like to be chased, but tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Yeah, look at that, the hammer. This is someone who repeats a pattern. Tell me more about the, the Ten of Swords. Soulmates. Soul contract. Yeah. I'm really feeling here, Virgo, if this person did you wrong in some sort of way, lied, cheated, uh, something didn't work out for them. And I feel like that was part of their karmic lesson here. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Two of Pentacles, yeah. I just get that this is somebody who was juggling. But whatever, 
you know, whatever happened here, if they were juggling other options or they were in a relationship, I feel like that situation ended. It did not work out well for them. And we have justice here and we have the three of wands. I see this person now seriously thinking about the future. Tell me more about justice. Six of swords. Yep, yeah, look at that. Six of swords with six of cups. They miss you. They miss you and they want things to change. And now this is someone who knows if they want things to change, they're going to have to make it right with you. Okay. Tell me more about this page of cups. Tell me more about this page of cups. Oh boy. Yeah, here they come. The devil. Capricorn energy. So you could just be dealing with a cap of corn, but you're going to get a message from this person. And it's somebody that you're going to be very tempted by. But I don't feel like this person has completely changed their ways. Tell me more about this page of cups. Okay. The sun card. Well, I'm just going to say it could be that this person is, this is an apology card for me. It could be that this person is coming towards you wanting to give you an apology for their behavior, for this devil energy here. Okay. Wanting happiness with you and wanting to work things, you know, work on things with you. Okay. Let's uh, see why the seven of cups is here. Tell me more about the seven of cups. Five of pentacles. Three of Wands. Okay. Well, right now, it does feel like they're in their emotions. Okay. They may be feeling like you're giving them the cold shoulder. I said that too. So now you got them thinking about the future here. Ace of Wands and Judgment. Yeah, they're going to want a second chance with you. And look at that. Page of Pentacles and the Page of uh, Cups again. So this is this person thinking about the possibilities, okay? Seeing that you may have given this person the cold shoulder or you're not giving to this person. Tell me more about this full energy. Tell me more about this full energy. It's interesting because if this person was in a relationship, I feel like that relationship is ending. But I also see you because this is your Nine of Pentacles and the Empress. I feel like you've really grown through this situation. I do feel like, yeah, maybe you'll see what this person has to say. Because again, I see the Page of Cups here. But I feel like you have grown a lot. And I see you like more independent. I don't feel like you're just going to rush or jump into things with this person. Okay. So... I want to see here. Tell me more about this Empress. Yeah. I see you keep moving forward. Even though this person is coming back into your life. Okay. I feel like you are still moving forward. We've got Cancerian energy there. But in Say It, we also have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We got the Knight of Wands and we have the Three of Cups. I have to be honest here, Virgo. I do feel like this is someone who's going to continue the behavior right but I do feel like this person's going to come back around they're going to want union with you let's see what the um, love oracles have to say here what can you share with Virgo what else does Virgo need to know okay we've got stability and flow we have doubts We have text message, okay, so, or, Mer or message, Mercury. So what I feel here, someone who lives at a distance or someone who has been distant with you is feeling very lonely right now, okay? Probably feeling too, they've missed the opportunity with you. That's what they're thinking about. They know that they have to make things right with you. But what the only problem here I see is be cautious with this person because this person could be coming around because they're lonely, okay? Let's keep going. What else can, so I definitely get communication here from this person. What else can you share with Virgo? Yeah, here's a foundation. We have regrets, okay. Well, they do have regrets here. And we have the Ace of Fire. So... 
this person's feeling a bit lost right now, okay? I feel like this is someone who has some, you know, past uh, wounds that go back to childhood, that go back to family here. Um, some of you, this definitely feels like a twin flame connection, but, you know, I do feel like they're going to try and come back around and they're going to try to earn your trust again. And I feel like they want a new beginning. You've got the Ace of Fire here. So there's a commu there's communication coming. Um, I do feel like this is someone who, you know, I keep getting the Ace of Wands. They are somebody who is you feel very passionate with. I do feel there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. Um, and I feel like they show more with their actions than they do emotionally. You know, this King of Cups is not somebody who likes to be vulnerable. So let's pull um, just a couple of these love oracles. What else does Virgo need to know? It says, deep in your heart, you already know the answer and do what feels right, okay? I feel like, you know, with your head and your heart... Um, I feel like there you you may be already feeling like what you know you should do. So listen to it. It says here acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Bottom of the deck here, we do have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and re remember love is the greatest healer. So I feel like this person is coming back around. There is going to be an opportunity, I feel, for you and this person to heal things. I just don't know if this person is ready for what you are looking for, Virgo, because I do get somebody who maybe they have learned some karmic lessons, but I don't know if this person is quite clear here or, you know, quite what I'm trying to say, not quite there yet. So you will have to listen to your intuition, how this person comes back around to you. So Virgo, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love.